What's up, everybody? Welcome to another Patreon. Uh, we woke up at the butt crack of dawn to do this for you guys because we love doing it. Uh, oh my gosh, yeah, should I introduce myself? Hi, I'm Regina. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird when I go first. Hello, guys, I'm Regina. Um, I don't know who to pass it to because hey, I never guys, go first. Alex. Alex, you had a rough morning. I'll go last. <laughs> yo, hey, yo, guys, you, you had a rough morning, Alex. my guy. Savon is referencing my rough morning because thieves will go to jail and i might elaborate more later <laughs> so real quick what's going on y'all so, if y'all are here y'all know who we are but i feel like because of this new light that i have behind me it's changing the color of my camera oh. bit, like kieran is, your, is this messing up your complexion like, what i look like oh it's like fading in and out yeah it's like a little i don't know what's going on but What's going on, y'all? Thank y'all for being here on the Patreon. Wait, we wait, got some wait shit hold to on. Discuss. Um, you turn the light skin and dark skin on and off with that light. I like it. <laughs> you see? That's what I'm saying, bro. This shit giving know, me no, a vibe. For people, mm. for people that don't wait, do people see the light? Because aren't we like the three yeah. little columns right now? Do they see if, it? it? So I think if it's a maybe if it's a wide screen, but still, even if they can't see it, it's I feel like it's affected. I know. I feel like if you didn't point it out, I feel like it's not that noticeable, honestly. You okay, look good. cool. You look but good. Then let's keep rolling. Let's keep rolling. Thank you, brother. Thank well, you. Thank you. Speaking of rough mornings, you know who's having a rough year? I don't know if you guys have heard, but there's these two guys. They're from the UK. Their names are James and Fuhad. They have a James and Fuhad. We got to say their names clearly. So they have a very, 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 very popular, successful podcast. They're, it's called Shits and Gigs. They literally have sold out an arena. I know we've seen podcast tours and all that, but I don't know if they could sell out arenas. They can do that. So they have a very strong fan base. And the guys know already what I'm talking about, but just in case someone listening doesn't know, um, they did like a U.S. press run type of thing, and they went on what it wasn't. Um, you know the name of Andrew Schultz's show that flagrant? they were on? It's not flagrant? Brilliant Idiots. It's uh, his other one. Thanks. So. Oh, that was Flagrant. Um, they went on Flagrant podcast, and you know Andrew Schultz's humor and all that. He was basically making like very just, in my opinion, cringy. People find it funny. I don't find it funny. I don't know. He made cringy jokes about black women, and James and Fuha just literally laughed. Like they were like, oh um black women's boyfriends they need to grow a beard because black women slap them all the time like not true just shit like that um i forgot what else (laughs) (laughs) i forgot i forgot what else but like jokes like four jokes in a row along that vein and james of did not push back whatsoever they just cackled they laughed and their audience saw that and they were like um what the fuck is going on here and then poor minds they went on poor minds um there's two black women hosts but they were talking about like, oh, yeah, we haven't seen any baddies in Atlanta. And we were like, what? So you basically no, Reggie, mean Reggie, you don't. Wait, 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 wait Reggie. Come on, son. Come on, son. Not going to let you just keep talking. They Do have... that again. Wait, what they said? So we had a tour in Atlanta and there no were body. no baddies. No baddies for miles. Like, God damn, you good at that. What the no, but, fuck? But like when you you can't just say that because it's like what do you what do you mean like because you you know what a typical atlanta woman looks like like probably black probably curvy you know like probably beautiful i don't know so that's just probably rooted in their preference and just a bunch of things and now they're getting called out so i don't know i just want to talk about it because life comes at you fast it was all good just a week ago literally it was all good just a week ago so I think a lot of people are talking about it, but what I wanted to talk about, you can find a lot of discourse about James and Vuhad online about like, oh my God, they hate black women, whatever. Like, that's not what we have to talk about. But I just want to ask you guys, like, do you think Andrew Schultz's brand of humor is outdated or is it just me? Because like, do you still find that type of humor funny? Like the overtly racist, like just, I don't know. I don't know how to descri- like describe it, but do you still find it funny? <sighs> Everybody can't be Dave Chappelle. Real talk. Everybody wants to be Dave Chappelle where, like, they're impenetrable, right? They can say a plethora of things and they won't get a a bunch Mm -hmm. of pushback. But even Dave Chappelle has seen pushback. But I'm going to be honest with you, Dave Chappelle is black, (laughs) right? So so some of these topics, Mm, you know, yeah, he'll, he'll receive some criticism. People might not like everything he says, but it's going to be truly hard to cancel him. I like Andrew Schultz as a person. My one problem with Schultz is, dog, 
you don't know enough about black culture to kind of joke the way you joke. But see, this is the thing though, when you're a comedian, it's the mm-hmm. perfect pass, right? You could just write them off as them just being jokes, which is fine. I, I get a comedian's job. I personally love comedy. I have respect for comedians and I understand it is what they do. The thing is, Andrew Schultz, not everybody knows you. I know you sell out MSG. I know your fan base is massive. It's large. So you can get to a point where you just assume, hey, everybody should know what I do. Like everyone should know when it comes to me, Schultz, I just tell jokes. The thing is, though, when somebody's just scrolling on their phone on Instagram and they've never seen you before and they see a white guy making jokes about black women, they don't know about your background. <laughs> they don't know that you're a comedian. I don't know. Think, uh, speaking of fan base, I don't know if this matters to him because, like, his fan base, I don't think they're, they care that nah. he makes fun of, like, black people. So they're just gonna keep like he he didn't like lose fans from this, I feel like. Because the people who are calling him out, like let's say I called him out, it's like like let's say I made a TikTok video like calling him out, like, oh my god, he's so racist, but I wasn't his fan in the first place. So it's not like he lost a fan. Yeah. I don't know though. I think times have I don't know, just seeing all the discourse, I was like, damn, times have changed though. It's tricky for me because it's been documented i'm a fan of the brilliant idiots podcast andrew schultz is one half of that podcast he and charlamagne the god so i'm quite familiar with andrew's sense of humor with his comedy style with his principles and just the foundation of who he is as a comedian like he's really open about it so me seeing this and i watched the interview reggie i remember because um you you actually brought these guys to my attention shits and gigs and once you said hey these guys are pretty dope they're talented they got great discourse i think there's a, some things we could pull from them i'm tapped in right like if any of y'all say yo you should check this out nine times out of ten i'm gonna check it out just off of y'all word Aww. and then i started like seeing them and engaging with their content so i got real familiar with those guys and around the same time they just like you said they went on tour they came to the u.s they're in the u.s and now they're doing different markets in different platforms that are US based. Mm-hmm. So one, like you said, was the poor minds and the other was flagrant where a lot of this controversy stems from. And when watching it in real time and knowing Andrew Schultz's content, I don't know him as a person, but knowing him as a content creator, comedian, and then seeing them, I think there was a lot of cultural disconnect, right? Oh. Um one of the thing that Andrew Schultz does is he does push the envelope because he is a comedian and comedians have the right to die on the comedy hill, right? That's one of their gifts. As hard as comedy is, I think that's a nice pass to have, right? Hey, I'm a comedian, all right? Like, and they all use it. They all use it. Um, I, I, I think there's two things I play with this. Is his comedy style outdated? To answer your question, in my opinion, I don't think racism can be outdated. <laughs> It's just embedded in this culture. And I think comedians have the platform to speak to the topics that make us uncomfortable. Now, how you go about that is one thing, right? Stereotypes, they're never going to go away. Um, Prejudices, they're never going to go away. I think it's how you package it. And I think sometimes Andrew takes a lot of shots and he misses the mark. And if you don't know him or you watch him out of context, it really comes off terrible. Like it's like, in my opinion, uh, 